All right, another one of our microorganisms are called protozoa. So protozoa are single-celled organisms and they can usually move on their own. So they usually have their own mechanisms to move, um, which is a little different from the previous ones we talked about with bacteria and viruses. So they also are found in moist environments mostly and very few are pathogenic. So very few are those pathogens that are harmful to those living things. So the majority reproduce with binary fission, just like bacteria. So the majority are going to reproduce with that separation and where our daughters, our daughter cells are identical to our parent cells. So it's more of a cloning mechanism. So protozoa are definitely good for our environment, so they're actually the foundation for most food chains. And they also aid in nutrient recycling and decomposition. So if we've got a food chain here, here's our little protozoa. He's much, much, much enlarged for scale. So our little protozoa is going to get eaten by a little fish, and the little fish is going to get eaten by a bigger fish. And a bigger fish can be eaten by other animals or even human beings. So they are going to be extremely important as that food chain foundation. All right, but our protozoa can also cause some problems for us. So there are some pathogenic protozoa. The most notable would be malaria. So malaria is transmitted by mosquitoes. You hear a lot about it, especially in Africa. Um, and then Giarda is another one. But, so both of these are pathogenic protozoas.